Hi BTN, I'm Heath. And I'm Flynn. And we build, program and race these. They're small, remotely operated underwater vehicles called sea perchers. And recently, we got the chance to go to the US and race them against heaps of other teams in a massive competition. But our journey actually started more than a year ago, when Dad and I first found out about them. We built a sea perch ourselves and started this club to help other kids do the same thing. And on our first day of proper testing, BTN came along. We're testing them in a controlled course and making sure they can move and operate in ways that we need them to. The sea perch itself is actually just a vehicle made out of a bunch of poly pipes, some noodle and gutter gut and a variety of different things. It's generally supposed to be made cheap. Next one. A team of two control the sea perch, guiding it through obstacles and other tasks. After our first tests, we kept working to approve ours to be faster, more powerful and easier to control. We then took part in a local competition and won, earning a spot to compete overseas at a much bigger event, the US National Sea Perch Challenge. That meant we'd be competing against hundreds of other people with a lot of experience and skills, so we knew we had a lot of work to do. My vehicle is about 12 months old, and we've been, since it's one of the first models, we've been doing much experimentation and modification to it and revision over the yeah, 12 months. We've made a depth sensor which can measure the depth and we've got a program which maintains accurately that depth. The whole club helped us work on them, but only four of us in two teams got the chance to go over and compete. Heath and I on separate teams. My name is Thomas and I am the Cable Wrangler for Team Vacuum. As a Cable Wrangler, I need to adjust how much cable is in the water while the vehicle is moving. It's going to be very interesting to see what the Americans are doing with their vehicles and being able to meet the other teams and ask them how they've made their vehicles. Finally, after months of preparation, it was competition day. There were two major tasks. One, an obstacle course with underwater hoops. The other, the orbs challenge, where you had to capture balls and release them into underwater pens. There were some ups and downs, but in the end, we did really well. My team came fifth in our category and his team, a USV searcher, came equal sixth. Any opportunity he can use to gloat, he will take it and it's pretty annoying. We made some new friends and had a great time. But we're not done yet, and our small robotics club is still dreaming big. I really want to get the club to build more of these sea perches and really hone what we've been doing and hopefully go back there and come first. You can also take away a lot of useful skills that can be used in everyday life and future job careers. The trophies also look pretty cool.